All right, guys, welcome to the stream today. I am going to be covering and playing. All right, guys, welcome Star Valor, which has been an early access on Steam for quite a while. Um, definitely over a year. This is the game has been made by one guy, one guy. Uh, and it's kind of like a space action RPG, freelancer inspired, open world sandbox. Really, really fun and addictive. You can be anything from a trader to a pirate to, you know, uh, I don't know, a uh, cyborg sympathizer, uh, wanting to destroy all life. Um, lots of fun stuff. Uh, now, the release came out today. And what I love is they actually added a streamer version. So it's faster progression, less grind, perks are less effective, uh, YouTube safe music. So I normally play on standard because I don't mind a grind, but I will be playing on a streamer because it does have the YouTube safe music, which I'm really excited about. Because this music, this game is amazing, like 8-bit, 16-bit, whatever you want to call it, kind of soundtrack. But I was kind of down that I was going to have to play it without any music. But uh, because of this brand new mode, we will get to play the music. I haven't heard it yet, so it may not be. We'll see what the quality is like, but at least it shouldn't get me any YouTube strikes. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. Um, Leroy, we are going to skip the tutorial missions. There is a little mini story that's about five or ten minutes. Um, you know what? I'll play it. It's pretty fast. Uh, you can change the galaxy size. Even at 15, it's pretty huge. Now, there are three different difficulties. There are, there's a relaxed, normal, which is what I play at, or hardcore, which is unavailable for the streamer version. You can have permadeath. Again, not in the streamer version. Now, here's the cool thing. Um, actually, you know what? We won't play the tutorial because I want to be able to show you guys the cool backgrounds and stuff. So uh, the tutorial, again, all just kind of teaches you how to fly around, how to do basic trading. We're going to jump into it and I'll kind of give you my own tutorial for those that are watching. Now, background, you will unlock different ones. So, for example, when you first start out, if you're brand new, you can only have Outest. Uh, the Red School faction, sure, the pirates are hostile. You start with 100 credits. You are nobody. You start with a Corvette. It's meant to kind of take you through the initial story and it will give you access to a ship at the end of the tutorial. It's going to be an upgrade. Uh, but you can unlock some other ones. So, for example, the first time I played this, I became a miner and so you can for example start as a miner then and so you get a mining speed bonus you can be friendly with the mining company uh, and you can be hostile the Red Skulls you can get a good amount of uh, starting credits of 1500 another one is uh, the trader this one it makes you friendly with the syndicate the syndicate is kind of like the the universal like trader federation and of course uh, pirates hate you here was a kind of a cool one that I unlocked was white collar uh, this one you unlock by selling over 20,000 trade goods in a single sale while being honor of the syndicate and PMC. So these are kind of like the two kind of goody two shoe factions. Um, and so the perks, if we were to play this one, is it gives you market insight. Market insight is actually really powerful. It allows you to see whether the prices of the goods that you're looking to buy or sell are selling high or low. So it's kind of color coded. Green means you're either getting a good price, either good profits if you're selling or uh you're getting it cheap if you're buying and red obviously is the opposite you also get a global trade increase a better chance to mine special metals now bonus fleet commander um i'll go over this when we're in the game this game's amazing not only can you have your own ship but you can actually have a fleet you can have either mercenaries that follow you around or you can buy different ships and they'll follow around they have different ai you can set them you can you know, buy mining ships and do the mining for you while you protect them, or just like an armada of carriers. This game is like really cool. Uh, you we're gonna get to have our own uh, crew, etc. Very, very cool. Uh, we have an unlocked lone wolf. You could be a pirate. So, already matey, if you want to be a pirate, uh, this is an option for you here. Um, I'm not gonna do this, but this is just kind of being if you want to kind of jerk playthrough. And the one we're actually gonna play is this, I think indoctrinated so become honored of the vengi as outis minor or trade background you get plus five plus five percent shielding uh vengi ascension is friendly children of terrorists hostile cannot reach neutral you get a thousand uh credits so basically if you think about the this is like the alien species 
that was looking to take over human beings, indoctrinate them. And they got kind of really cool, uh, really cool sci-fi looking ships. They actually, their ships remind me of the Dothraki ships from Wing Commander. If anybody watching has played Wing Commander, that's very much like that. Hey, what's up, Max? Oh, hold on. Let me adjust this chat window. I don't know why I'm not being able to see it. Right. There we go. Uh, it's roguelike. Um, so, yeah, so there's like you unlock. I guess it depends what your definition of a roguelike is. Um, dying doesn't cause you to unlock new things. What causes you to kind of unlock new things is you'll, you'll reach certain achievements and I'll give you new options to play with. Um, so you can kind of start new games of buff. So I guess you could say that. So we're going to be indoctrinated. We're going to get to pick our spaceship. Now, these are all the spaceships that I've kind of unlocked in my playthrough. So you'll notice like they're di different sizes. So class one, those are the smallest class two yachts. I have this cool Valor yacht. Now, this was the biggest, the, the, this is the one uh, that I unlocked the, the one that I said kind of looked like a kind of like a Dothraki ship of sort, if you guys remember one commander. And this is with the faction that I played as. So we're probably going to do that. But before I used to be uh, when I got the donkey. So this is a class five cruiser. This is a giant um, mining vessel. So yeah, like that's pretty cool. Uh, that was from an earlier playthrough when I was, uh, my very first big time playthrough. So again, we're going to be starting with a uh, starting spaceship. This we're going to actually start with this ship. We get some unlocks based on our, our experiences. So we're going to take a look at some of the ones I've unlocked. So you could do, you know, extra energy tech levels um this probably won't make too much sense to you guys so i'm just going to pick one really quick we're going to get max speed because you want to be able to get away from things uh let's see here we don't care about mining we're going to be going combat because we want to make it really nice and fun uh, i like damage resistance there we go uh, i never reached i think level 37 is the highest i've ever reached so uh i didn't get that one i, I haven't unlocked the, the free co-pilot and then we get up to three other perks. Now, most of these I have not unlocked, but they're actually pretty influential. Like 20% mining speed's nice. Uh, we are gonna go ahead, interesting. So let's see, what is our starting? I don't think I wanna have a smaller starting ship size yet, because we don't wanna start as a one. So we're gonna go ahead and just get some basic ones. Agility plus one. We'll do the, this would be cool, but I don't like having starting ship size be one. So no thank you. Well, we'll do the 10 per 2 percent weapon speed and why not we'll add the the mining even though i don't think we're going to do any mining and that's what we're going to jump in uh keyboard and mouse is how we're going to control it i'll kind of go over that in a second and i'm going to get the music going now again i had it muted because i wasn't sure i didn't want it to get flagged now for those yeah it's not a bad game and again it's one developer so you basically, what's really cool, it's got like uh, W and S is thrusters up and down, right? And you can then, you can strafe left and right, and then your ship will turn wherever your mouse goes. And the different ships have different turning mechanisms, etc. Shift gives you afterburners. Uh, and do let me know if my audio is good or bad. You hit space bar to kind of hit the space brakes. Now notice up here, yeah, I, let me see. Uh, you can adjust your power to your thrusters, your shields, and repairs. So depending on your ship makeup, and they're very, very customizable, if you have enough uh, power, uh, you can basically buff them. So I like getting my thrusters nice and buffed, so I'm going to be moving faster. It's pretty sweet. They have quick save and everything. Uh, shielding also. And you can kind of see right here is your health, your shielding, and your energy. Oh, sorry, your, uh, your energy is the second one, and then your shielding. So I don't have very many shields right now. But notice, as I pump money or energy into, uh, let's say, my weapons, it is going to lower that uh, amount of extra energy. So let's see here. Let's say we buff up our shields with 200 capacity. Well, our shields aren't that expensive right now, so we might as well do that. And we still have plus 10 a second, so we're just going to pump everything until we get it so notice we can max up max out all our buffs uh for now uh now we start with one skill point and there's a whole progression here for your skills 
Uh, you can progress as an explorer, combat engineering. Now notice it'll tell you give it'll give you different bonuses. Progress as um, so for example, I'm gonna be very combat focused, so we're gonna be buffing this. You can get stuff like one damage per second for each weapon, but like they're gonna go down lower and like the far end capstones are really powerful. So plus one weapon space per ship class. This is pretty sweet, so you're gonna be able to get more weapons equipped. But let's say you want to be a big on fleet and have a bunch of ships with you. Well, you can go down to social and you're going to make it so it's cheaper to hire crew or cheaper to hire mercenaries. So this is really cool. Uh, and then other ones. If Let's say you want to be a trader and a miner. You go down business. You get extra EXP when mining and trading. Everything from better chance of getting better mining elements to better selling prices. Eventually more cargo space. So that's uh, that in a nutshell. For now, we're going to go for DPS. Here are perks, knowledge. We're also going to level up as we do different things. We're going to get our skills. Uh, and the space pilot, for example, when you think, kill things solo. Fleet commander, when you defeat things with other people in your fleet. Uh, scrapping items, mining, exploring. So you're going to improve your exploration just by exploring. We'll look at that in just a second. Here's your stats and all your uh, kind of reputations all the end of the game. And then uh, finally, we'll take a look at the ships in a sec. So for now, we're going to hit tab. We're going to take a look at our initial sector. This is where we start out. Uh, this is all kind of the gray area. We don't know what's here. We're going to explore this. Different jump gates, asteroids for mining. And this is the universe, the galaxy rather. So if I zoom out, this is like a pretty small map. And look how huge this is. So each one of these is a system. Initially, you can only go via these jump gates, but once you get a warp drive, you can go anywhere pretty much. Uh, they'll tell you what level they are. When you mouse over them, they'll tell you how big they are, who controls them, if they have uh, minerals, how much of it you've explored. You can left click on them and add notes, etc. And then like, for example, we have missions, right? So this right here tells us we have a mission, find a Vengi which is basically where um, our people, quote unquote, because we're indoctrinated, or we will be once we go there. But for now, we're gonna see if there's any local quests. So we're gonna head over here, you can left click and put little markers so your mini map will go. You can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, we right now have like left click assigned to all our guns and right is our mining laser. And we'll go over that in just a second. Now here is the uh, space and we hit G to interact with it. So we have different missions. So for example, here is a, a more mi mission to uh, visit foreign export sectors. That'll be easy. Uh, now, of course, you can get freighter missions to transport, uh, get nickel and bring it back. For example, this randomized uh, supply runs. Now we we're gonna be doing a lot of pirate eliminations but we need to get to some space pirate levels or space pilot levels, not pirates so we got to go kill some pirates now check this out here's your hangar and your ship right now we don't have very much we have a light laser and simple mining laser we're gonna get rid of this because we're not gonna mine anything at all and there's a bunch of modifications so you need like your, your power reactors, impulse drives, you know, you can get better gyroscopes for better turning speeds. You can store more energy with batteries. You can get speed boosters. And they are all in kind of a um, rarity uh, setup. So white is the lamest and then it goes green, blue, purple, orange, just like in pretty much any kind of like action RPG, MMO kind of setup. Uh, so what we can do is we can go trade because we do start with some money and see if there's any upgrades we want to get. Now I like burst lasers, so we're going to go ahead and pick up one of these. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Yeah, we're just going to stick with lasers. We're, we're going to do... Check the, ooh, we, don't, we, need, we can't even get that yet. Alright, so we'll do one basic laser. And we can't do these either, so we're just gonna stay stick with the two light lasers. And when you go under hangar, notice we can have up to five weapons. 
So we're gonna go ahead and equip. And you can even equip what hard points go under. So right now you can have all on left, but we won't. We have one on left, one on right. Okay, and it fires from two separate barrels. Oh, interesting, weapon damage, minus 25%. That's kind of a neo. Hmm. Oh, because it, it does double. Oh, that's kind of cool. I did not, that's a, that's a new feature for the ship. And uh, for example, if uh, this ship can have up to two people in it, so you and a co-pilot, so they can make your ship more efficient. And we're gonna look in that in a little bit later. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's single player only. Again, it's one developer guy. Maybe one day he'll add it. Uh, just came out. Here, let's say if I want to buy a new ship, I could technically afford the Pegasus, but I don't want it. Each different area is gonna have different type of ships. Um, you can even get giant carriers. It's, it's amazing. Uh, you can go and buy different type of, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, cargo. There's even crafting. I don't have any recipes right now, but I will be unlocking them. We're gonna go ahead and sell this because we don't need that. Uh, you can even make custom weapons. I don't want to overwhelm people though. So we're gonna keep it nice and simple for now. Let me see if there's any upgrades we can buy that's kind of worth it. All right, we're gonna buy, I'm thinking, yeah, let's let's buy a, and it's probably not worth the money. Uh, da, da, da. I do wanna get, what do we wanna get? Battle computer, we don't have a battle computer. Most of the stuff we will find as we go. But, let me see if there's anything I really want to get. Uh, now we'll go ahead and buy a Pathfinder 1.0. And I will buy a tractor beam just in case you randomly find anything. Uh, we have the space for it for now. We may not later. Uh, the Pathfinder, this doesn't cost anything, which is nice. Tractor beam. All right, and I believe, let's see here. So yeah, tractor beam set to two. Hey, what's up, beastie? What's up, my man? It's nice seeing you. I figured you might ju jump in on this one, the little, uh, I know you're big into the space stuff. This, this is the polar opposite of Star Citizen, graphic wise, but same kind of world. But in, instead of 300 million in funding, it's one guy. All right, so let's go. I'm going to go ahead and explore the gray area. Uh, ooh, early supporter, Karma Perk. That's kind of cool. I'll have to see what that gives us. Okay, now, now they got me curious. Ooh, a special thank for developer. That's nice. Also, here, here's random stuff. We got some crystals. And again, if we wanted to be boring, we could be miners, but we want combat. So now I have two lasers. And this ship is nice and nimble, that's why I like it. Alright, there's also mercenary hideouts. So what's cool is you can hail these, you can hire them. Uh, but they will take a percentage of your money. So, if you go down the social tree, you can lower the amount that they take from you by up to 50%. So. That's what you'd want to do if you were there. Okay, debris fleet fields. This is cool. Basically, you can scavenge. And you can specialize. So you just hit J and it's going to scavenge it. And if you specialize in scavenging, you can get better stuff. So this stuff... Oh, microchips are actually very good. Uh, energy cells are used for warping around. <laughs> yeah, Beastie. This is definitely, you know, fifth generation graphics. Uh... You need at least a 3080 to run this game. It's very, very chill. Um, and the, I mean, if you, the, if you just listen to the music, it's, it's, it's just awesome. See, so we just leveled up. You notice as we're exploring, we're getting EXP. Now, let me show you. So let's say I just want to be an explorer. I can get a bunch of buffs that will make me go faster so I can run away from things, warp for cheaper, warp further away, detect locations more easily, um, and be more agile, and you just get more EXP for exploring stuff. But again, we are going for combat, so we're going to keep buffing our combat because I think that's going to make a more exciting 
stream as well. So it's funny, I've got a couple games, like, uh, I've been, I, I wanna, I was gonna play Battle, uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 today and a little, uh, World of Warcraft Alpha, but then I saw this release today, I'm like, you know what, I gotta give this little developer some love. D this game is just, I don't know, I can tell it's a labor of love for this guy. And my, my, the 12-year-old inside of me is totally nerding out playing this game, because... Games like this came out when I was 12 years old, I think. Just obviously not as sharp. I still love these kind of top-down games, but nothing was quite as deep as this. Uh, there's even giant wars you can partake in, where, like, pirates will invade a sector, and you can either help them out or fight against them, and they will quite literally take over stations, and sectors will change allegiance, uh, depending on who wins. Uh, here we go. First combat coming up. Now we are pretty beastly, as like our ship is built for combat. Oh, and the music is epic. Yeah. So what we just did is we cleared out this hideout. A lot of times there'll be missions that tell us to like uh, keep the peace, and so uh, it's literally to go and clear out hideouts like that. Uh, they will respawn over time, too. And you see that? We just ex fully explored the sector. We got a huge EXP boost. So we just leveled again. We actually leveled twice. Now, again, this is on streamer mode that they just added. And so everything levels a little faster. Uh, because, you know, streaming needs to be ADD friendly. So definitely everything goes a little quicker. If you played a normal grindy mode everything will take longer but it's still not too bad so we're gonna go back uh oh i didn't even see that station over there we will see if we have uh any quests in the other one too so now we can get this uh eliminate the notorious pirate it's a level three elite elites are tough they have a little star next to them we will pick that up uh, let's also see um what we can sell off scrap metal uh, what's kind of cool is you can deposit a lot of things into a universal banking system now not everything so for example if if it says in the station this would be uh, local we don't want that but a lot of these things you can deposit uh, universally we're gonna sell this we're gonna keep these two elements uh, and we're gonna deposit this as well there's going to be quests uh, that they may say, hey, we need some of that. And so we can pull it out of the bank and turn it in. Um, let's see here. You can go to the academy here. I could technically hire uh, an assistant. These are all white qualities. They're all shitty. But notice they all have different initial buffs. They can boost different stats. They can get better over time. They'll either be specialized where they only get one skill. You get really good at it or they can get multiple ones. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, like I said, tons of depth. But let's go check out the other station before we move on to the next area. And we will, um, I'm thinking, see if there's any quests here. Alright, here we go. Uh, day wants, no. Ooh. So check this out. We actually have a blue crystal, so we can accept it, and we'll automatically fill it. So we can uh, get lateral thrusters. I don't really do lateral faster sensor. Uh, let's get a sensor amplifier. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I have this? I don't have drone parts. I don't think I do. Do I? We'll go ahead and equip this. Notice we have uh, 26 room for equipment. Now, I do want to get some shields. There we go. We're going to buy, I'm thinking, two shield generators. And 
I'm also get a shield charger. Now, right now we have uh, plus eight surplus of energy, and that's about to go down big time. So I'm gonna have to buy a new power reactor, but that's okay. Notice we're minus two right now, that's not good. But luckily we can go all nuclear. And these take up two, so they take up a lot of room. But for now, we'll, we can be a little luxurious with it. Uh, we're 24 out of 26, so this is not like optimal by any means. But considering we have ghetto stuff, this is pretty good. We have a huge surplus so we can run everything in max capacity. And now check it out, we, instead of 10 shielding, we have an 108 shielding. Um, you know what, I actually want to get another shield charger. We can still technically equip that, so let's go ahead and get shield charger. Let's get, um, it takes one energy, let's get three of these. Alright. Because this is, oh, I bought one too many. Uh, you know what? We will go ahead and unequip the tractor beam. Unlikely we'll need that. And let's just let's just go all crazy. Let's let's go nutter butter on the shield chargers. Um, four shield chargers, two shield generators, and we have room for one more. Okay, that'll do it for now. So now we have plus 13.7 shielding a second. We should be pretty damn tanky. Oh, did we check for missions? Let's make sure we get the mission board. Uh, local deliveries. Really? Okay. Nice. We're just literally, it's telling us to go next door. We'll take 400 EXP just to like go there. So sometimes you get lucky like that. It is procedurally generated, but there are a lot of cool quests. All right, so let's get this done. And again, we are gonna go to our masters soon. I gotta figure out how to get there though. That's the tricky part. All right, there we go. Complete the quest, boom. All right, that was easy enough. Here it is, another eliminate pirate. That's what we're looking to kind of stack up. So now here we go, here are the two quests. Now, it looks like we need to go to 2511, and then we'll be able to go there. So let's see, is there a 2511? 20, there it is, 2511, boom. Let's do it, boys. Oh, we leveled up again. Excellent. Then we're going to get crit hit chance. Well, oh, this is going to be nice, reducing all damage from all attacks. Ooh, I may have to go for that. I did turn off collision and damage. You can enable it if you, you know, want to really torture yourself. It, it's pretty funny. If you have big ships, you could technically, like, crash into other ships. Oh, pitch black. Uh, so I forgot to buy a flashlight. Oopsie daisy. Uh, we'll get around to that, because, you know, flashlights in space is a thing. So, uh, let's see here. We need to go to 2714. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, it's right there. Cool. But, for, let's see if there's a planet here while we're at. I mean, there, there, this is hinting that there may be a planet there. It doesn't guarantee it. But we will go ahead and fly around and explore this, because A, it's going to give us EXP. Maybe pick up some more kill quests. Maybe run into some space pirates and we can whoop their butts. Oh, this is one of our people. This is our faction. So they have human termination required. Synthesize Vengi voice. Rejoice as the Vengi decided to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. Terminate this chaotic human for us. Let no one know who your masters are. Dun, dun, dun. So I don't know if it's like... I don't know if Vengi are like... Skynet? Or if they're just alien. I don't know, probably alien. I'm afraid I'm too weak. No, we are not too weak. Uh, so we're going to pick up all the termination missions. Uh, let's see if I there's any guns I can get, get here. Uh, there we go. We're going to get another burst laser. 
I want to get two of them. Oh, can I get two of them? Yes. We're keeping it kind of simple for now. Eventually, we will get... Ooh, look at... Oh, look at some of these. Oh, look at this cruiser. You can get carriers that launch uh, drones. Um, and you can also, you know, have your other ships park and repair on them, which is awesome. But that's going to cost, you know, almost half a million credits. Check out a Titan. Oh, you can get a Dreadnought. So, but right now, we're good for now. We're good for now. All right. Let's go ahead and equip the burst laser. We are going to equip one to here. And then we're going to equip the other one to here. Okay, good. It auto did it. Sweet. And we're still good on energy. And technically, if we have room for one more. Uh, I could do a small missile launcher. You know what? I've actually never played with missiles. Should we do it? You know what? I say we should do it. We can test it. Uh, literally, I've never used it before. We have enough room for it. So what we're going to do here is when we equip it, we're going to set it to a different button. So I could have it all on my left mouse button, but then it would shoot all the lasers and the missiles. So that's a good way to get rid of all your missiles. So we're going to right click it. And then we're going to, we need to get missiles. All right. And we're going to go ahead and see. They, all right. We're gonna buy... We're just gonna get a bunch of missiles. There we go, we're gonna have a hundred missiles on us. Probably enough to spam them, but... All right, let's see. Now, now we feel like a badass, don't we? All right, so... Oh. All right, so let's finish uh, exploring this area before we move on. We'll kind of do kind of a big circle. None of these missiles are guided. I'm going to guess they're not. They're probably dumb fire missiles. But we'll see. And I do love the freedom this game gives you. So again, if you want to be a space pirate, you can do that. If you want a miner, you can do that. If you want to be a trader slash scavenger, you can do that. But you do have to be careful because if you get a big juicy trader ship that's not fast enough and then the pirates get to you, they kill you and take all your stuff, not so fun. Alright, so we'll go ahead. You know what? Let's let's bump our shields. Get, get a little defense going on here too. Now these blue crystals are, they're mining crystals. If I were to actually mine these uh, asteroids that I'm running into right now, because again, it's dark and I for keep forgetting to buy a flashlight. Those are the kind of things you would get. Ooh. Oh, space. Oh, that was a missile. Man, they're kind of slow. So I have no idea if that was heat seeking or not, but we did just wipe the crap out of that. That felt pretty good. Love the music too, especially when it changes all tense. All right. Now let's see if I can remember to buy a flashlight here if they if they sell them, so we can actually see. Eliminate notorious pirates again. We're picking up all these crystals. We got this. So we can accept it and complete it. Uh, yep, let's go ahead. Uh, we don't have those. Alright, so... Equipment. Spotlight, there we go. And takes no, no space, which is great. Uh, so this missile launcher is super slow. <laughs> so, I mean, we bought some because, you know, why not? 
Uh, let's see. Check for economy. Ooh. Oh, that's for fleet. All right, so check it out. Aha, we have a flashlight now. Fancy. Flashlight physics, boys. We leveled up again. Again, we are playing on uh, streamer mode. So it is going to be... Uh, progression's a little faster across the board. It also lets you... Uh, make it so you have uh, stream-friendly music. Also, what's really cool, randomly in the universe, you're going to find these, like, they look like ast... They're, they're, they'll say relics. They'll be flying through the sky, and if you pick them up, it lets you upgrade any item for free of any quality to the next quality, which is ridiculously powerful. So you have to kind of pay attention because, you know, they are super random. All right, and I'm kind of doing this, like, zigzag here. We're going to go one more time. We'll finish this exploration quickly. And then uh, we'll head over to our jump point. It's time to destroy all humans and pirates. I'm looking forward to getting away from like the super dark sector too, because again, it doesn't do the game justice, but I know it's like supposed to be thematic. What do we got here? Right, almost done of the exploration. It might even give us a level, we'll see. Almost. All right, here we go. Saving. All right, here it is. Find the Vengi base. Nice. Eliminate those pets. Oh, this tells you what missions are in the area. So there's the there's the pirate we got to go after. The notorious pirate. And that's where we want to check in with our masters and start doing quests for them. So again, it's fully sandbox, so for me, I'm going to be trying to be like a space ace. But you can, ooh, free guns. Oh, uh, or, yes. Let's just shoot the missiles for fun. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh. So you can have different, uh, you can get blueprints. We already have a sensor amplifier. We'll probably end up getting this. Notice you can also scrap things and get uh, nice bonuses. Oops, Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Keeping the peace, we'll accept this. Always check if you randomly have the... And we can do a random delivery. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sell some of this stuff. This we're going to go ahead and scrap. Uh, you know what? I like our... I think I'm going to replace... Light razors. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll swap out the light lasers for the burst lasers, I'm thinking. Let's see. Do we have... Yeah, we'll buy another one. We will scrap these. Equip. So now we have fully burst lasers. Sweet. Uh, we will go ahead and sell all the junk. We are going to deposit that. And we're going to scrap. So tech level is important because tech level lets you equip better stuff. That's the important thing about it. Okay, oops. Load all. We'll go ahead and sell this. We don't know if we're, we don't have that special perk I mentioned at the beginning of the video, so we don't know if we're getting good deals for it or not. But since we have limited space, I don't really care. I want to sell most of that. 
We will deposit the scrap metal because we're going to need that for crafting. Team of uh, base components. Uh, let's see here. Crafting. Blueprints. So we can, for example, craft blueprints. This is this is good. So for two base components and two microchips, uh, if we get another base component, we can upgrade white items into green items. So that's going to be pretty cool. And most of that we're going to have to uh, get random in the world. But sometimes you get lucky and, you, lucky and you can buy here. Like here you can buy microchips, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's go ahead and actually buy it. Since one two three there we go i'll buy four more so i can craft them as we go robotics well oh, that sells for a lot yeah let's sell that cool uh make sure Ooh, there's some Ooh, apprentice gunner i may want to get her she's expensive but let me see here uh So co-pilot flight gunner bonuses, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna, that's the first time I've actually found somebody decent early on. Yeah, we're gonna get this person. Anna Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! This is for real. So we're gonna go and we're going to assign her to my position here. Now, if my ship had turrets, they would fire the turrets. But uh, she's going to be helping with my gunner stat. And they're going to get more efficient, and they basically level up over time. So, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Hey, what's up, Moki? It has been a long time. All right, so let's see here. I got another level. Let's keep bumping the shields up. All right, let's go, let's go visit uh, Papa Bear. Oh, let's go finish this quest right here. I believe I just have to do a delivery. Oh no, that's probably, I'm guessing, the pirate base we gotta clear out. And then this is gonna be the little delivery that we picked up. Yep, pirate hideout. I may be a little bit of a badass for this place. Launch some missiles. Miss the missiles. Yes, I know, overheating. Boom! So I have laser guns. Ooh. Um, ooh, drone parts. That's nice. Uh, but you can also get guns that, like, have cannon ammo. So you get, like, gadling guns and stuff. Which is pretty awesome. There it is. Base components. That's what we were looking for earlier. So let me show you crafting. It's super easy. And super awesome. We're basically going to upgrade... Uh, We're gonna upgrade our guns. All right, let's uh, first of all um, reward. We don't have this. There we go. Let's go ahead and learn this. Now craft. We're gonna craft an upgrade kit. We only have enough for one, but check this out. So you can now click one of your weapons. And click upgrade. Now it's green. Just went from 19 to 22.8 DPS. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Right, let's go uh, finish off this other quest over here. And right, let's go talk to our masters. And again, we're a little over, we've over leveled this area. We're level eight right now. <laughs> so these are like level two and three. We will go to the more difficult ones in a second. Normally you don't level this fast, but again, we are playing on streamer mode. All right, so we're supposed to just come over here. There we go, complete quest, boom. So it must've been like a data transfer or something. I don't know. We won't bother exploring everything right now. Because we're getting so much EXP as it is, so we're just gonna head to the mission. 
And I have really, really decked this out as a pretty much like a warship. Having uh, almost as much shielding as armor right now and a gigantic 13.7 shielding per second is pretty baller. All right, there we go. We have arrived. Ooh, they're not impressed with us. We need to become allied with them. All right, uh, I will try. Needy much? Uh, yeah, let's terminate more humans. Terminate more humans. Terminate more humans. They don't seem to like humans. Let's go ahead and sell all the ammo for the guns. Um, let's just make sure there's nothing cool we can't buy here. Oh, Trader Codex. So this is the average, this was I was talking about. We'll go ahead and buy this. And uh, it gives us discounts on trades, but most importantly, uh, now we kind of know if we're selling or buying for good or bad uh, prices. So that's kind of a big deal. And again, it doesn't take any space, which is great. All right, we got another level. Uh, let us go. So where do we need to go? Wow, we have stuff everywhere. So let's 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 start with the lower ones. Uh, let's go to twenty-eight eleven. Boom! There we go. And let's annihilate some bitches. I mean, the graphics on this are, I mean, quite beautiful, just the art style. Pretty, really nice lighting. And again, consider this is done by one guy, holy crap. If you want to check it out, it is 15 bucks on Steam. I have a link in the description of this video. Eliminate spaceship. All right, there it is. Ooh, he's nearby. All your bases are belong to us. Now we could start farming. Uh, oh, that's a bigger one. Let's launch some missiles at him. Oh. <laughs> All right. Overkill. Were those my missiles that I was launching that I saw? I think those were. Ooh, our gunner got better. That's good. All right. So this is a. Controlled independently. We want to go to 2714. Let's see if we can find a jump gate for that. Oh, that's that where we just came from? Where did we come from? That's weird. Oh, or, or that's where we turn it into, duh. We don't know where that goes, but that's okay. Let's go back. And then we'll, uh, we, we gotta do a tour of killing. We need to uh, leave some corpses in our wake. So a very quick pit stop. Uh, pick these up just in case. If we miss that, we're good. Uh, we're good, all right. Let's rock and roll. So we got 5,600 credits, that's not horrible. As we start killing st uh, stuff that's higher level here, this should start going up quite a bit. The idea is eventually I want to be... Who's the space captain from Peachorama? <laughs> that's like a total chode, but uh, really funny. I want to be basically a fleet captain and have a giant space fleet Oops. Uh, of these ships and just like go across the galaxy and just annihilate everything. It'd be amazing. Oh, looks like we got somebody to kill. Hello. Alright, turning this in, and then... I'm thinking we need to go... Ooh. So... We, we need to get a warp drive as soon as possible so we can start warping. But we'll, 2318 is what we're looking for next. Yep, and it's right there. 
So medium laser, asteroid analyzer, simple mining laser. That's an easy choice. So we will go ahead and unequip and equip. There we go. And notice we should be getting our scrapping skills up. Or what was that? Is that under tech level? Yeah, from scrap and scavenging. So we're level four. We're doing actually pretty good on that. All right, so let's go 2813. Oh, debris field, we might as well scavenge. Sometimes you can get real lucky. Man, this thing turns on a dime. Some of the other ships are like giant sea cows. Ooh, refined metal. Now that's nice. Ooh, we learned a thermal reactor blueprint and a transmitter blueprint. That's great. And I, again, that's all from scavenging. And again, everything in, you do in the game gives you different types of EXP. Human termination. We got a. Oh, what's up? Oh, pirates? Hello. Oh, all your bases are belong to us. Now, these are level five, so they're no joke. But we are killing machines, so that kind of helps. Pirate hideout. These missiles are so slow to fire. Oh yeah. Ooh, green crystals. Alright. Must terminate all life forms. Let's shoot some missiles at it. Okay, these are definitely dump fire missiles. They are so junk. Ooh, nice. A better shield track. Ooh, Rapid Vulcan. Yeah. Let's get one of those. I think we'll swap... Uh... Ooh, Red Pilot. Ooh. Alright, that's a pirate base. Oh, shit. Maybe the missiles will work on this. Ooh! Ow, 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 ow. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Right, let's get our shields back. There we go. Recharge those shields, baby. Have to do some repairs. I am feeling a little cocky. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god, those, those sound really beefy. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that for now. We're bursty, but... I notice we're getting reputation ups with the good guys and down with the pirates as we fight those. Uh... Now, we could get, like, drones that will uh, repair us as we go. We don't have that currently, that's why we gotta be careful. That's why I'm big on shielding. Alright, but let me see, hold on, we gotta see, where do we need to go from here? Uh... So the problem is, none of this connects here. Maybe... 2819? Uh, we'll try 2819. Don't know where that's gonna lead to. I mean, you could jump into a super high sector and not even realize it. This is definitely a pirate-controlled sector, though. You can tell by what guards uh, are at the jump point. 
Also, uh, oops, let's pick that up, Asteroid Analyzer. Also, I think it will say that if you go under your map. Yeah, Red Skull Pirates. So there's probably other, like, if you, you could play as a pirate inside of them. That's a thing. All right, so there we go. We can go to here. We want to go to here. Good. We have a quest there. And this is level 7, so this is a high area. It's a syndicate area. So they're friends of ours. 2514. So we haven't found it yet, but we will. Check out that big civilian ship. That's not even huge, though. They get bigger. Again, we're looking for 2514. And see, so here, this could have been a station, but there's no station for this planet. A lot of times they will be. There's a good chance there's one here. We'll check it out. But our main goal right now is to find the jump point. Oh, hello. Well, excuse us. Oh, level 10. Oh, shit. Whoa! Alright, that level 10's a little beefy. I can handle the level 4. Luckily, the other one's slow as a cow. Missile sucks so bad. Hell yeah. Ooh, ow. Ooh. I was like, we're doing really good, and then I got hit by like a bunch of missiles. That 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 kinda hurt. Yeah. Now right, let's see if we can find a. Uh... We're still looking for that jump point, but we wouldn't mind a place we could repair. Ooh, how did we repair? I don't have any repair mechanics. Here we go, syndicate. So when you go to here, you can go and fully repair. It's not very expensive. Let's see here. Again, I'll check if any of these... Oh, cool. A local delivery. Okay, this will tell us basically where the other one is. That's always kind of nice. Uh, what is this? Asteroid Analyzer. I really don't care because I'm not doing that. We have a lot of missiles. We'll sell that. Refined metal. Ooh, okay. We're gonna deposit that. We're gonna de deposit that. Deposit all of these. Iron again, we can't. So we'll sell those. Good. These all have to stay on my ship. Oh, look at this. Oh, there we go. Warp drive. That's what we need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ooh, collector beam. That's nice. Um, so let's take a look. We need two space. So we got to get rid of something. thinking I'm shield charger maybe would you have four of them I could unequip one of my power generators oh no no that's not good all right we'll get rid of one of my chargers still pretty good can't complain there we go and now we use the energy cells to warp around we'll go ahead and put this in our load it up uh, weapons. I kind of want to get this missile. These missiles kind of suck. Um, do we have better... Uh, demolition missile launcher. Ooh. Oh, that's for shooting the asteroids. So you can just blow them up instead of mining. 
could also get a light cannon. Now for now, let's uh, let's go ahead and sell these. There we go, just to make room. Now yeah, we're good for now. I'm thinking. We just have the missiles for the coolness factor, right? So we are going to go ahead. So now check this out. Now that I have a warp, this is my range. Anywhere in this range, I can go. The further away, the more it's going to cost us. So um, that's the downside. But we're going to start warping around because using space lanes uh, is for scrubs. Nice. We got improved plating, 10% re damage reduction. That is baller. There we go, completed this. So again, you could do local, so you could just like go around and do all this trading, but we, we got more important things to do. So, oh, there we go, there's the light cannon. That's what I was thinking about getting, but I was just waiting to get at least the green one. So let's go ahead and buy that. And then we just need to get some um, ammo. Cannon ammo, we will get, Let's see. We'll get 200. How about that? We're gonna deposit all of that. Oh, we're well, not just kidding. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and unequip the small muscle launcher. We're gonna scrap this. We're gonna sell these missiles for now. But we were going to go ahead and equip this. And what's nice about this, it doesn't use energy at all. So it's just going to be added to our rotation. Uh, and it won't hurt. And since I am going to get, I kind of want to get two of them. Do I have enough? No, I don't. Uh, do I have another? So this is a basic one, but we'll get one just so we have a pair. Oh, just kidding. I, that's... I don't have room for it, but I will soon. You'll see why. So, I won't spoil it, but you're gonna see in a second. There we go, 400 ammo. That'll do. Uh, sell all. We'll deposit the cannon for now. Alright. Let's start jumping around doing missions. Alright, we're gonna terminate humans here. Only two energy. Time to destroy all humans. All right, first target is down south. He won't know what hit him. Oh, it's a merchant? Oh shit, wrong one. My bad. I don't want to kill you. If you don't kill him, you don't get the actual... You also have to be careful. If the Red Skulls did more damage than you, they would get the kill. Credit. in this area. Oh, they're beating up the poor merchant I almost accidentally killed. Well, they killed him. Hello, pirate base. This is not a good place to be a... Uh... Oh, sorry, miner. Bam! And what's kind of cool is if you get a- oh, sorry about hitting you. If you get a good enough reputation, they'll start, like, healing you, uh, with their repair lasers when you're near them and stuff. It's a lot of cool stuff like that. Sorry about almost blowing you up, bro. Should not get in the way of my bullets. And uh, there's more humans to kill over here. It is the end of days for you, my friend. You don't even know it. Here we go. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, so good. All right, now that we are complete, let's go kill here. More humans to terminate. Warp! I feel like we're the Terminator from, you know, the Terminator movies. 
Who look? Are you John Connor? Come with me if you want to die. Just like slaughtering them all. And we want to be saving up our money for a better and bigger ship. So this is Syndicate Land. All right, so we're going to go... You know, we can actually use a save some money. Uh, scouts. Uh, this one's an outsider. Let's just go... Let's do this. When we start going to the outskirts, we'll go over there. I also got to keep track how many of these energy cells I have. Oh, robots. That was kind of cool. It's the first time I ran into those. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a different faction. You can side with them as well, but I mean, obviously we're not. Because they're like, I think, polar opposites of who we are. We're like, indoctrinate all humans. They're like, destroy all humans. You know, slight conflict of interest. Check out those purple beams. Oh yeah, you can also barrel roll. So that lets you like dodge missiles and stuff like a baller. Cool. Ooh, we got it. Oh, we got one of these, which we already have. I mean, no complaints. Local delivery. All right. Uh, we got to sell. We're going to go ahead and so, mm, scrap. Ooh, impulse drive too. Ooh, that's better. Yes. So what happened to our other drive? Oh, there it is. Yep, we'll scrap this. We can buy platinum here, that's nice. Alright, so where do we gotta go? Let's go here. Pirates, pirates, uh, so this will be 2511. Uh, we'll go use the portal. Oh, you know what? I, can I buy some energy? I sure can. There we go. Most of the time, I'm a bit too lazy to, uh, to fly. Time is money, my friends. So I think for this one, I think we're just turning stuff in, I think. Getting rewards. America. Oh, there's my starting system. Yay, hello. They may actually have new quests for us, but we'll see. Uh... Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Drone parts. Uh, we don't need them for now because we don't have any drones. Oh, but we can't even sell them. That's kind of annoying. I don't really want to carry them along. Ooh, a better nuclear reactor. Yes, please. We'll buy one of those. Uh, just, just get the better shizzle. All right, let's go check out our home really quick. A little five area. Uh, we do want to get this capstone. We're gonna bump up our gun damage. Because that will literally let us, I believe, equip with a tier 2 ship, it should be two more gun, gun points. So like two more 
cannons or two more Gatling guns or whatever, or lasers. We shall see. Alright, human termination required. You got it. What? It's already discovered. So let's see, the next upgraded ship is 42,000. The tier three cor Corvette, projectile speed 40%, weapon heat generation minus 10. It has uh, two two hard point guns. Ooh, is that four of them? <gasps> we can have up to eight guns. Are those turrets? Actually, I don't know what those means on the left and right, but I think that may mean those are turrets. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, energy damage plus 25% because obviously they're all about energy. Yeah, so we want to say the magic number is 42,000. So we're going to go ahead and make a note here like 42k ship, home, base. Like that. Cool, look at all these things to eliminate. So let's go ahead and just port there. Oh, this is actually to turn in. We're going to have a ton of stuff right now and a ton of AXP. It's going to be great. Now let's dock. All right, what are we going to get? Speed booster. Ooh, bur Oh, yeah. We're going to get an updated laser. Ooh, up. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Rapid Vulcan, baby. Oh, of course I wanted a rapid Vulcan. <gasps> oh! Yes! Yes! You can get a better spotlight. <laughs> uh, lateral thrusters. What do I want? What do I really, really want? Let's just get that. Uh... Ooh, another good... Ah, this is awesome! Ooh. When detecting loot, that's kind of cool. But you know what? I want the Rapid Vulcan. Oh, it's so good! Uh, yeah. Oh, oof. Extra hull? Or a better medium laser? You know what? I'm gonna get the hull. Wait, do I have room for it? Now nah, let's go guns. Man, we get some nice upgrades right there. All right, oh, we got a bunch of stuff to equip right now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're going to unequip this. Burst equipped. So, light cannon, burst laser. Burst laser medium. Uh, so, we should have two on each. La burst laser and medium laser yep and then we have the extra cannon here we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let me see uh we're gonna unequip equip gonna get rid of the light shield generator for extra space Lateral thruster. Yep. Better nuclear reactor. And they are getting way more effective. We are almost, as soon as we level up, just a couple more times, we'll be able to take advantage of these. So we're going to, for now, um, we're going to deposit them for now. But don't you worry, uh, they will not go to waste. Scrap, scrap, sell all, keep all that going. Good, good. Oh, that was that was a very lucrative uh, quest turn in. Uh, we'll pick up more pirates. Uh, we're good, we're good. All right. Uh, at twenty three thousand, oh, we're almost halfway there to our ship now. That was very, very lucrative. Uh, can we correct? Yeah, uh, let's see here, 2516, I believe there's a 2516 here somewhere. 
maybe we have to discover it still? Yeah, let's let's go pirate let's destroy the pirate hideout. Gotta find that lovely, lovely portal. Woo! Crystals. I mean, it's green. How can you not pick it up? Love how mobile this ship is, too. Ah, red crystal. Gotta catch them all, Crystal Mon. There we on time. Oh man, I'm having way too much fun on this. I was like, maybe I'll stream for like an hour or something, and uh, yeah, we're I don't know, we're in, we're in for it. Is that portal when I need it? There it is. Found it. Gotcha, sucker. So we mainly just wanted a humanite. Okay, so we'll go here. Illuminate the pirate and a human. Two pirates and a human. All right, lots of killing to do. Man, that's an awesome looking planet. Ooh, and a level seven debris field, that'll be nice. Hey, leave that merchant alone. You're welcome, merchant. You should like paint. You can uh, threaten him too. You can like hail them. Oh, there's my allies, which is nice. Oh. I check out the debris field, then we'll head over towards these guys. They really like hunting those poor merchants, don't they? That's why you don't want to be a merchant. They're nice and defenseless, as you saw. If I wasn't there, I mean, they'd be in trouble. They'd be in trouble. Alright. Where do you think you're going? They're trying to escape. Can't have none of that. Afterburner's on. Now, again, I get all my systems at max level, because this... I've really min my Oh, look at that big old miner. I used to own one of those in a previous playthrough. That thing makes buku money trading or mining. But I will say it is uh, not as exciting. Oh, man. All right. Really going to go all the way over there? Oh. All right. Oh, that miner got jacked up. Must have been from the pirates. Somebody wiped them out, looks like, though, the pirates. Wasn't me. Nice. And how convenient. That was right next to a, uh... Debris field. Nice, refined metal. Those are valuable. 
All right, so we're done there. Uh, yeah, we could use a portal, but I'm lazy. So for for warp, we got this. Get more of those pirates. I remember when I started this first night in my little ghetto ship and I tried to be like a badass pirate hunter. Uh, it did not go well. I think I had like one laser or something. Uh, it was like shooting him with a pea shooter. But these guys, all my bases are belong to me. All right. I've been meaning to go over here. I noticed it said uh, you can also use energy. So there are certain ways you can basically get energy generators and you can use those, um, your own ship generated energy. But we don't have enough because we have 52. So if we just created a bunch of shield energy or energy, we could just use that. That's more for big ships. So you don't have to worry about purchasing this stuff. All right, they better not be, oh, they're, I was gonna say, they better not be trying to kill my guys. But no, he's hunting somebody else down. Revenge, bitch. Your ass is now, who are you hunting? Oh, they poured it out. Oh, well, good for you. Uh, all right, so we'll teleport back here. Some pricey teleporting. How are we? We still have five. I got to stock up more energy. Um, so we need to go to 2811. There we go. Luckily, it's right here. Ah, that warp drive is still there. You know what? It's been sitting there for a couple halves. So I can, like, totally scrap that. Let's go turn in the sucker. And then and then we gotta head to more difficult territory. Cause we'd be too baller for this. Oh hello. Woo! Oh, that's gonna be nice. Blue Rapid Vulcan. Pirate Layer, that's fancy. Oh boy. Uh, can I delete that person? I don't know how. New AI will find girl for you. I don't know how to ban people off on YouTube, unfortunately. Now let's turn this in. Speed boost. Again, we want to replace all the better nuclear reactors. Ooh, better shield charger. Simple repair beam, huh? So let's change out another inefficient shield charger. Oh, we can craft an upgrade now. Oh, we can almost do a blue upgrade. We're going to save up for that. Yeah, we are so holding on to that.
Okay, we need to get some more energy. There we go. And we leveled up again. Yay! You know what? We have a local delivery. Why not? I mean, it's literally local. Alright, living La Vida local. Where is it? Oh, just down here, huh? I'll play this for a little bit longer, and then I'll stop. Now, if you want to see me play this more on stream in the future, because you get the kicks out of it, drop a comment on the video. That will be on uh, saved on YouTube, which is always nice. And, uh, yeah. But let's see here. Is there anything else I can do? Ooh, way over here, huh? Oh, that's a little too far away. Uh, but we can go to 2714 and then go from there. 2714, good. Just east of here. So yeah, we're at 31,000 credit. We're 11,000 short right now of getting a new big baller upgrade of a ship. Now you always want to... Um, you want to make sure that you save up more than a minimum because you're going to need to buy a bunch of new energy reactors, a bunch of you now a bunch of different upgrades, equipment-wise, for whenever you get a new ship. So even though I need forty-two thousand, I'll probably wait till about sixty thousand before upgrading it or buying it. And my old ship, I have options. I could sell it for money, but you get like 20 cents on a dollar. Or you can save it and eventually have it be part of your fleet. So let one of your AI uh, control it. Problem is, the AI is not always the smartest. Wait, does it really have a turn in at the pirate station? No. Oh, maybe. That was kind of awkward. Very awkward. There we go. Or is it, what is this? Oh, it's a civilian station. Just happen to have a bunch of pirates around it. Oh, that, that's really awkward. All right, so basically, we like don't know where to go at this point. These are all unknown sectors. But what we can do is like take a leap of faith and see what we find. Let me see. Is this also the only Vengi system, huh? Vengi Ascension. It'd be nice if they had missions for us. Oh, I am just... This is only going to cost us three. Yeah, I definitely need some... Well, uh, some exploration. Also, again, just checking the uh, outposts for quests. I could go down here. I wonder... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So I kind of want to go this direction, even though there's some good clusters here. So maybe I should go here because there's more likely to have stuff clustered together. But let's see if by any chance... Oh, here we go. He gave us some missions. But here's a nice level 10 boss. But that's a boss quest. That's the first time we've had one of those. Those, I don't even know if I can beat. But we sure as heck are going to try. So, uh, a lot of times, uh, you know... Follow the way to, uh... To the promised land. Oh, good. And they are cool. Those are not close. Holy crap. Look how far... How do I get over there? Maybe go here and teleport across? That's pretty funny. Alright. 
Oh man, this is gonna be a pure overkill right here. Oh, it says elite actually. So maybe it's a higher level guy here. I don't know. Level three, nah. Ooh, nice reward though. Probably get either, ooh, that's gonna be tough. I think I want a nice gyroscopter to be honest with you. So we're kind of speed clearing these. At five energy, and then I think I'm gonna buy like twenty or thirty energy, and uh, and with that, ooh, that's the ship we just saw. Is the what we want to get? And so we can kind of speed teleport around, and that'll be the final things we work on uh, during the stream today. I'm thinking. Hello. Oh, speaking of energy, there you go. Whoops, a little too mobile. I'm drunk flying. All right. Let's go turn this in, and then we are going to go northwest. Oh, man, we're almost at our 40,000 goal. And we got a good amount of stuff in that last run. That was one of those missions. Killing humans and pirates sure pays off. Allegedly. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pick up the Gyro. The Gyro Gyro. Ooh, we'll take the new Pathfinder. Go ahead and equip that. Equip up. Gyro stuff. Unequip. Equip. Scrap. Grab, sell, deposit, and then we need uh, energy. Oh, they sell gold here. Oh, you're telling me they don't sell energy here? Well, that's awkward. Okay. Oh, there's a civilian station. They'll, they'll have uh, energy. Quick civilian station stop. Hopefully, don't have energy. But we do have six just in case. It may also because it's a level one and level two area, they may not have it at that low level. But I think the civilian stations should have them. Uh, goods. There it is. Yeah, I knew it. There you go. I just bought like 20 energy. I literally don't have enough room. That's kind of nuts. Well, ain't that annoying. Fine. Alright, let's teleport. Right. I need to wait for it to charge up. It won't take very long. Might as well randomly explore. Let's go here. I don't think we've gone here yet. Ooh, this is an, one of our territories. Nice. So let's find one of our cities. Very high population. That must mean there's a couple of planets here. And hopefully they'll have quests for us. Mercenary hideout, that's not it. A 
let's check out the, the debris field. Oh, look at that huge civilian ship. Look at that thing. Man, that thing is beefy. Beefy, that definitely has some uh, defense systems on it. Come on, there we go. Outpost level six. That's more like it. Ooh, look at all these. Look at all these juicy contracts. Level six, level seven. Oh, level four elite will take it. Level 14? Damn, I mean, we'll pick it up, but that one, uh, that's gonna, that's, that's not gonna be quite ready for us yet. Seeing if there's any other ships out of curiosity. Ooh, look at that. Man, look at that juicy thing. 140,000. Too rich for my blood, but you know. That's uh, deposit. Can we craft these yet? No. Still missing one base component. Not annoying at all. All right, here we go. Oh, we have a mission right there. Oh, let's keep the finish. Keep the peace. Killing pirates, basically. So we need level 15 and two levels we'll get this. And that is going to be very nice. Ooh, what is this? You don't know who you're messing with, hombre. There he is. Is that what I needed? Base components? I think that's exactly what we needed for crafting. Yep. We'll be able to get a blue upgrade now. That's going to be really nice. Let's take care of these annoying pirates. Pissing off our home area. Oh, level 10. All right. See, that one has a drone. I think that's a... Uh, that's a repair drone. Oh no, it's an offensive drone. It just freaking... Oh yeah, man, that is that is what we're talking about. Offensive firepower, baby. Don't mess with the S on Superman's chest. Or the L on Leroy's chest. Leroy! Blowing shit up. Alright, let's see here. Let's turn this in. And we have enough time to just do a couple of these high-level contracts. Wait, we're all the way up to 44k. I technically can afford that new ship. Maybe that's what we'll do. We're gonna. I'm gonna unlock that ship, and maybe we'll purchase it and be like, let's show off the sucker. Alright, what are we gonna get? Blueprints. We'll get the blueprints. Alright, I think we can there we go, we can up we can have an upgrade kit. Nice. And now which one do we want on blue? So I don't think I want any of these to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna probably wanna upgrade a rapid Vulcan or something to that. Ooh, or better yet, maybe one of my nuclear reactors, or my warp drive. Oh, this is juicy. You know what? I probably should upgrade my lasers, though. Yeah, I'm gonna be boring. Yeah, up to 32, that's a nice burst. Make sure I don't mess, all right. Here we go, let's get those human terminations. Ooh, they're all over the place. A uh, small one too, or is it much better than mine? Uh, what were you, what are you, what are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the weapons?
Oh, you're talking about the ship. The ship I'm gonna get is bigger. It's a whole uh, class bigger. It's gonna be juicy, let me tell you that. Let me tell you, let me tell you what now. All right, let's go to 2516. We'll just slide it really quick. Oh, yeah, no, it's a whole tier bigger. I think it's a... Our ship is a class two. I think it's a class three. So what's big, it has four hard points for weapons instead of two. And I believe two of them can be turrets. Ooh, escape pod. Check it out, we just picked up Sophia Smith. Geology advancement, she's useless. Can I sell her? I can jettison her. No, we won't sell her. I mean, I don't think that's a thing in the game yet. But you can uh, you drop her off. Because we are not going to be mining, sorry. Now, where are they at? There we go. Yeah, we'll finish these rounds. This should give us enough money and then some. And I'm thinking I'm going to put my PDS uh, defense systems, like anti-missile systems on there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, baby. Ooh, loot finder. I'll definitely equip one of those. Man, we are... These were definitely spanking. We haven't run into any of the, like, bad, sp big space battles yet, but those are insane. Oh, whew. Natural cooling. Ooh! That's kind of cool. So that's an activity. I, I'm not big on activated abilities. I kind of like going autopilot, honestly, in most things. Uh, here we go. Upgrade. Better critical chance. All right, next. What do we got? Oh man, it's way over here. Ooh, level 14. Uh, I don't know. If, should we risk it? I can try what? Oh, I'm level 14. I can do it. It might be tough. But we should be able to kill it. Just make sure. Sell my robotics. Sell all these missiles. Man, let's, uh... Let's sell 150 of these. They're getting a little heavy. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Going to a level 14 territory. I think this might be a boss fight. Ooh, level 14 boss. This may be like biting more off more than I can chew, but. I'm gonna try. Ooh, level 12 debris field too. Hello. Level 17 elite? Oh my god, I barely dented him. Oh snap! Oh. Woo! He's, he's got no shielding. He's pure hull. Woo. Holy crap. Okay. I'm going like full afterburners. Man, those lasers are rough. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This may have not been a good idea. How is this? And it's faster than me, too. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, run away. 
Boots of escape. Oh, Jesus. Warp! Oh, no! He knew it. <laughs> I couldn't tell for the time. Okay, so we're not quite ready uh, for the level 14 boss. I think we could do like a level 14, like normal guy, but that was a level 17 boss for a level 14 mission. That, that was a bit rough. Whoa. All right. Luckily, we saved in the previous system. Oh, it's the first time I've seen like meteors flying like that. Look how big this area is. Holy crap. Asteroid rush. No, thank you. Ship. Ooh. Armor perk on like near miss. What is that? That's a new one. Escape from an asteroid rush alive. Nice! We got strafing speed increase. So apparently that was interesting. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at that. Oh, graveyard. That looks cool. Very nice. Debris field. Oh, level 10. Let's see if it gives us anything. Now, I'm also trying to decide what I want for my secondary. Do I want the social to get all the, like, you know, crew efficiency? Or should I go, like, exploring or better scavenging? I mean, you can get, like, extra equipment space. You can, like, really get decked out. Better energy storage. I don't know. This is, this is a tough one. It's like, do you do stuff to better your ship or work on having other ships? All right, so level 11. We're going to check out this level 11 before we return. Prox, this is a mining sector. So what's tricky here is... These are either, areas either too low or too big. We do have a level 14 area here, too. Let's see if by chance there are any crystals needed. Alright. There we go. Keeping the peace. Well, oh, that's nice. I like the local uh, regional deliveries, too. Because they basically give away where uh stations are oh shit over here over here oh that's kind of far all right let's do it anyway so it's a way of getting paid to explore so i'll do this quick run here and i think the battle plan for me is i will check out these little 14 to 15 regions we'll look at faction influence intensity that's kind of cool um Yeah, finish off exploring these clusters. This is a big map on this one. It's a lot bigger than the other ones. So even though I'm like a space fighter... Oh shit. Really? That's more like it. Oh man, those are nasty missiles. Mm-hmm. Oh nice, more base components. Alright, so it wants us to turn this in and then we'll go to the other mining. Ooh, we gain damage resistance plus percent while not owning a fleet. Interesting. So I got like a what is that from? Oh, interesting. Fleet Commander. Oh, it is. Space pilot progression. So we got a 2% damage uh, bonus. 2% And so as you get higher in this, up to level 60, 
You get different buffs. Whoa, what is that? Hold on, hold on. If that was anything. Oh, junk. Uh, basic medicine. Ooh. That'll sell for something. So, yeah, interesting. And then, oh, see, for mining, you unlock different type of minerals. Explorer increases your detection range and fleet... Uh, uh, then it's, there you go, interesting. Oh, let's get this debris field. So that'll be big decisions, because we're going to fill out our initial skill tree pretty fast. Fifty thousand, we have enough. By the time we finish our little rendezvous, we should have more than enough. Uh, yeah, we gotta start getting these PDS lasers. Make sure. Let's see, oh, we got this complete. Basic medicine. Oh, we can't even sell that, can we? Deposits, fill all the missiles, deposits, deposit. Can I craft another upgrade kit? Ah, uh, almost. I need the refining metals. Darn. Okay. All right, let's go check out that mining station over there. And then I think we'll teleport. Ooh. So that's to turn stuff in. We'll, we'll stop at a 14 before we go to these. Because we have completed most of these, I think. We still have plenty of energy. We're good. Oh, hello, Pirate Cat out. Man, we are good. Oh. Don't mess with me, ombre. Love those base components. Ooh. Oh, your upgrades are belong to us. Hello, space station. Thank you. Complete. Oh, we'll pick up these notorious pirate quests because why not? Don't really want to be doing local deliveries, though. No offense. Uh, ooh, they got some uh, cargo expansion module. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Don't really want to do that right now. Oh, look at this ship, the Reaper. That's the donkey I used to have. Donkey! Donkey! Thermal regulator. Oh, interesting, I can actually craft the upgraded nuclear reactors. That's cool. Alright, here we go. Save real quick. And let's go to 14. Faction war. So it says there is a military fleet in the sector preparing to attack nearby enemy station. Press tab to check location. You can choose to help the attack or defender. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. We're going to light it up. This is what I've been waiting to show you guys. Faction Wars. And I think this is one of my people. I believe. Uh, we are in a nebula. Oh, Red Skull territory. So let's catch up to this fleet. Oh, distress signal. Okay. It could be an ambush. There's a bunch of distress signals. Wow, a lot of distress signals. Oh, escape pods. Lucy. Oh, I don't have room for all of them. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a trap. Oh, see, the miner's trying to repair us, which is nice.
And our allies we can't damage, which is nice. If they're green like that. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Come again. Oh yeah, repair me real good. That was nice. So this must be like a minor federation. This is the fleet? The minor federal Holy shit, guys. Look at this. It's a shit ton of miners that I think you're gonna plan to attack or something. Holy shit. Alright, where was that distress beacon? Here it is. Alright, so we're gonna find who's the most useless. Uh, bad aim. Sorry. We're gonna jettison you. Samantha Brown. Acceptable aim. Okay. You get to live. So who are they attacking? Let's see. So we can hail them. No, we do not want to try and extort them. Well, that was fascinating. Alright, let's go check out here and then we'll head back. We got 56,000. We got more than enough. Ooh, Red Skull Pirate Area. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Holy shit. This is not good. That was bad. And that did not go well. So that was before we hit there. So we lost a little progress there. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's go do that faction war area real quick again. Ooh. So, again, you can definitely get in over your head if you're not careful. You gotta be careful. But let's see if we can help out like we did before, and then we'll head back. Luckily, we didn't lose that much. But I did like helping these guys, so we'll see if we can find them. And before there were distress signals here, but I think I, th I think it was random again. So it doesn't look like they're here right now, which is unfortunate. So look, I think they're like simulating mining around here. Ooh, that's a nice debris field. Don't mind, don't mind if I do. Now again, I, I don't put any points into my. Uh, debris fields or into my uh, engineering so here you'd get 20% better scrap metal oh hello oh we got enemies somewhere where are they oh shit oh damn oh wait this is not good all right, let's see if the miners will repair me. Oh, that was rough. I just went head first into that. Please repair me. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, the warm beams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. Oh, yeah, lather me. Mm -mm, lather me up real good. Oh, daddy likey. Thank you. And let me see if I can kill your marauder non-friend. Where did you go? Man, those like laser beams are freaking gnarly. Just nasty. What's it? I don't know where you flew off to. Now, if you have better sensors, you'll be able to see stuff better. That's another reason, like maybe getting this stuff. See, uh, better fine tuning, better zoom. All right, I think that's enough. Ooh, Zortrium armor. We'll take that. And is this a what kind of space? This is a Red School space, so this is not even this is not friendly territory at all. All right, so let's just head back to uh, here. I don't know if this is yeah, turning nice. 
So, Antiochus, so we're gonna go ahead and buy a new ship. This will be the big payoff. We're at two hours into the stream, which is right about as long as I wanted to do. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, we'll get another PD laser. Loot finder. Loot finder. There we go. And we'll pick up the new missions. Alright, this should be fun. Uh, deposit. Sell the junk. Or, can't sell the junk. Just kidding. Can that learn it? Interesting. I, I can't learn it. And I also can't sell it. That's really awkward. Okay. <clears throat> let's sell it and then let's uh, save it rather. And then let's see if we can buy the ship. Um, ship. Um, excuse me, Red Skull. Do you mind? Yeah, you are not welcome here. All right, uh, ship. Yeah, here it is, class three, 42,000. But this beetle looks cool too. Oh, it is a built-in storage, but that's like a generic one. The class four is 140. Yeah, let, let's buy this sucker. So we're gonna buy to station. So, you obtain a new ship in addition to selling the old one. If you have enough fleet commander, you may instead place a currently unassigned crew and a command of it, adding it to the fleet. So, okay, let's see, what does it come equipped with? So, we're gonna check. It comes with base, very basic stuff, unfortunately. So, what does that mean? And no guns. But eight slots for guns. So what we're gonna do is kinda interesting. We're gonna swap. We're gonna unequip everything. We are taking everything on this. Um, unequip her. And now we are going to swap over to this one. Co-pilot. Wait, what happened to the other person? Oh man, she's got some nice bonuses now. What happened to my crew? What happened to my passenger? Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, disembark. There we go, in station, that's what we needed. It can be a little confusing. Now I have no place to assign her. So... Yeah, I really, yeah, we're just gonna keep her in the station, I think. All right, so first let's check out our, we're gonna unequip all. And let's see what we can equip as far as our reactors. We'll do start with the three fancy reactors. Our warp drive, lateral thruster, gyro thingy, shield generator, loot finder, pathfinder, sensor amplifier, trade codex, spotlight, shield charger, uh, yes, the better armor, speed, we're probably going to need more too, uh, let me see here, heat sinks, oh that's kind of nice, we are going to buy that, we should have the extra room, so our, we have 46 equipment slots, which is much nicer, which we'll need because yeah, we're, we're just, we're gonna need it. Let's look at our weapon hard points now. So this is gonna be interesting. So let's start with the medium lasers. So, see, so yeah, these are, so you can put gunners on here. Interesting. How does that work, though? 
Um, yep, it says Gunner. We'll have to see how that works. Because we do have this guy. Um, a little confusing. Uh, I've actually never worked with these auto pieces before. Um, let's see here. Whoop. Two separate barrels. No. One and one, okay. Where are my PDS there? Okay, drones and missiles. There we go. Now, who is actually gonna... Again, I don't get how... We'll have to figure that out in a second. We're gonna do Rapid Vulcan. We had two fancy rapid Vulcans, or maybe not. ED, ED, medium is a rapid Vulcan. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Is there... Interesting. No. Okay. Better range PDS lasers, maybe. Okay, so they are gonna go on the turrets. Burst PD, burst PD, okay. Where's the eighth one go? Okay, so the internal turrets, that's kind of weird. I think I, I don't, let me see. Okay. I'm just a little confused at how the where the gunner comes into place. So it looks like you sh Hmm. It's a little perplexing. Let me see here. Oh, they do like some sort of weird crisscross shit. That's weird. Oh, this thing is slow. Okay, I don't think I even have a thruster equipped, that's why. Alright, we definitely gotta finish doing this. Uh, it helps if I have an actual sh impulse drive. I wonder if they're gonna automatically fire or not. This is super weird. So, okay. 
change key. Burst light laser. Change key. It's a little confusing. Uh, maybe get a second heat sink. Let's see, how does this thing move? Kind of like a sea cow. Out of ammo? You mean I'm out of ammo? Oh, I probably didn't. Oh, it is so freaking slow. Why is it like crisscross? I guess because it's. Oh my god, it is so slow! Uh, we gotta we gotta work on that um we need gyro turning power we need oh there we go that's what we need is a heavy impulse drive missing where did all my ammo go I had a ton of ammo okay I don't is it on the other ship oh they are just kidding huh all right so I need to deposit all into the There we go. Now I swap back and I can load everything. Right. We still have a decent amount of cargo, which is nice. Sell all this. How much do we have equipment wise? We still have some. How is our energy? Ooh, we, we need to buy more power, nuclear power. It takes up a lot of space. I mean, I am running at 200%. That's probably don't need to run 200% on everything. Oh, it's the shielding that's so gnarly. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Um, and I need another nuclear reactor. There we go. What do I still have? I have room for five more. Yeah, it's the turning speed that's an issue. Let's see how fast we move now. Alright, we're a little faster now. Turning speeds a little better. But I feel like I still want to get a little bit better. Another gyroscope. And speed booster. Is that? Can we have more than one of those? I'm not out of ammo. 
Oh, he uses Vulcan ammo. Just kidding. Not cannon ammo. Okay. Well, that's kind of stupid. Alright. Uh, how much is Vulcan ammo? Oh, it's cheaper than cannon ammo, so that's good. We'll just sell it all. That's, uh... There we go. 600 ammo. How's that? Oh, yeah. That's some good shit right there. Alright, so we are going to, before we finish off, because, I mean, we did just spend all this time equipping this, uh, we gotta make sure, and, uh, oh, that looks cool too, the seagull. Um, let's go test the sucker out, yeah? Can I not, can I not save here? There we go. We'll see how this thing turns. It's pretty, pretty sick looking. Again, I'm a little confused about how they're supposed to automate. Uh, that's something I would like to know. Um, because, again, it did make it sound like these are supposed to be automated. But I could be wrong. Yeah, Sophia is. I don't really have room for her. Sophia is kind of not good enough for us. I can't sell her, so I just kind of dropped her off and let her free. So, yeah. Because, um, again, this ship does, only has a crew of two. Now I can have two passengers, but I'm hoping I can find some other passengers. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Firepower! Nice! Improved upgrade kit. That's what we want. Perfect. So, we can actually, right off the bat, I wanted to get a better Vulcan. Boom. Let's turn this in and let's kill those two other people. Two more human things and then, uh, yeah. It's already up to 17,000 credit. That's not bad. We are one point away from having nano components. Uh, I really kind of want to get that. Because then we can literally equip two, three more weapons. Three. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, what, maybe a couple more Vulcan cannons? Because you do have to watch out for the overheating of the lasers. Yes, I can, but uh, was she a pilot? I gotta look at her stats. Let's check her out real quick. I don't know if she was good. Like, I also have to worry about equipping. Um, let's see. Where is she? Passenger... Sophia. So she is... Oh my god. She's a, geolo she's a geologist. She's also specialized. Meaning, she will never be anything but a geologist. So she's somebody you have on your ship to help your mining get better quicker. In other words, to quote my dad, useless. Um, yes. But let's go, let's do this. Now this ship has a better hull, which I like. I feel like we need more shielding. All right, let's let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go kill these. Definitely need more shielding. But the problem is, we can't just get more shielding because we're out of room. We have three more. We like just need better versions of everything. I do have a plan to outfit my other ship. But it's really risky because sometimes you'll run into a bad area and you can run away, but your AI will be like, oh, 
I forgot I have. I totally forgot I have the guns that can shoot down missiles. So I should have just shot those. Ooh, I'm honored with uh, Vengi Ascension now. That's good. So I gotta make sure I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do that. How is my Vulcan ammo? Okay, I've gone through 80 ammo so far. So the Vulcan ammo goes pretty quick. Because they're basically Gatling guns. Ooh, distress signal. So again, either trap or it's somebody to pick up. Uh, either way, it's either something to kill or somebody to maybe bring home to mom. Ooh, escape pod. Here we go. Ooh, it's a blue! It's a blue! Uh-oh, hostiles detected. Not anymore. Thought, they thought it was a trap. Alright, who'd we get? Who'd we get? Ooh, pilot! 104% efficiency. He's specialized. So you can So he could be in the other ship. Um, and he'd be good for that. So yeah, we can use him, even though that ship's not going to be ready yet, we can most definitely uh, uh, have him pilot it. Excellent. Mm-hmm. See? It's all coming together. <laughs> that means I'll probably have to start putting points in that fleet. Because again, here you can see... Crew efficiency increases, expenses and requirements for hiring, crews lower. Nice. Let's see if we have any of these. Keep the peace. Let's see here, I'm seeing if we have anything. Wow, look, they got a lot of different ships here. But that's cool. It's level one, but that looks pretty cool. Alright, nothing that we need here, unfortunately. Can we sell? Good. Can I deposit? Deposit. Can I sell the medicine here? Nope. It's weird how certain places let you sell stuff and other ones don't. Yeah. Can I? Nope. I can craft a basic upgrade. You know what? I probably should. Because now what I can do is I can actually upgrade some of my like nuclear reactors, uh, gyrocopters, um, shield generators. Yeah, let's. I want better shield generators. See, now we have 217, so that's it's all adding up. All right. Oh, of course it has to go over there. This is how games like this sucker you in, man. It's like, oh, just just one more minute. All right. All right. For realsies, almost. A, so yeah, two and a half hours, you know. Yep, you. I could definitely have a two-ship fleet, but again. So right now I get bonuses for flying solo. Um, if you swap over to fleet mode too early, it can actually be detrimental. So I'm probably gonna wanna put some of these points in uh, before I do that. And I wanna make sure I can afford enough like nice stuff. I'm just picking up all these convenient Quests. Academy, Madison Wilson, Fleet Commander Advancement. Nah. Can we sell these? Nope, nope. Yes, yeah, I was gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna play for an hour, just do a quick show. Uh no, uh, they can. They have to go with you. Now you can you can choose their AI, how far away they stay from you, whether they're going to be aggressive, passive. You can have them, like I said, 
if if you equip a make a mining ship one of the options is mining so what's kind of cool is when you fly near an asteroid field they'll start mining so you kind of just hang out and they'll mine all the stuff for you and then once they're full you can go so you literally go make some coffee or something while they're mining you can definitely basically have a big old mining operation if you wanted to something i may consider might be kind of fun but what i really kind of want is uh if i'm honest with you i want a fleet with a bunch of uh like carrier fleet kind of like and be like a rogue not a rogue but kind of like wing commander you know have a big old fleet that just travel travels the universe Ooh, what is this Cobalt, nice. Again, I'm just kind of torn because exploration might be good for me. Trading, no, because I'm not really going to heavy mine. But I'm, I don't know whether I should go so social, exploration, or engineering. Again, if we're going to build a fleet, then I need to go social. But engineering is going to help us. Look at this, you're going to get plus one rarity levels for scavenging. You can get uh, better metals, and you can find equipment, trade goods, and crafting. So you can basically get, right now we're getting like ghetto stuff whenever we scavenge, but we can get much, much better. There we go, debris analyzer. Speaking of the devil. We need, I, need, I need to buy some more Vulcan ammo, though. There we go. Railgun! Oh, shit, there's railguns? And don't forget, I can. you can totally make your own guns up. Like, literally make them from scratch. Put all the factors in. Let me see. Where did we have the ship? I think our ship is here. Okay, there it is. Oh, it actually it shows. It tells us we have Sophia and our ship over there. Here we have some energy cells, drone parts. Okay. All right, and we're gonna go, oh, we'll go to the Vengi outpost and that's what we'll finish. This time I swear, wow, we're up to 23,000 credits already. Like I said, the scariest part about having a fleet is having to be destroyed, where it gets destroyed. You don't get destroyed, but they do. All right, that's, those are nice. These are, blue hole crowns are specifically meant for scrapping to get tech ups, which is nice. Good, that actually sold there. Right, yeah. Well, I do have really good mining uh, reputation, so in theory, let's take a quick look. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the mule's pretty good. That one's 95,000. Mining laser damage, 20%. It has a built-in collector beam. And 30% minus uh, mining speed. Holds 150 cargo. A crew of 10 requires three. Oh, I gotta be honored with the miners. Oh, okay. All right, maybe. Uh, let's see, is there a lower one that's a miner? So here's the hawk. Yeah, I, I gotta get a better rep. Okay, I am friendly, so I could get a boulder. This is a crew of two. Space. It has 48 cargo. What is my cargo? Where's my cargo? Uh... The question is, if I get this, will this actually buff my fleet uh, farming? I bet I will.
Oh, did you? That's funny. You saw it before me. Am I? Where am I not seeing cargo? Oh, right here. I'm an idiot. It's on the right side. So, what do you think, Beastie? As far as my plan, should I plan to have a fleet and like a mining fleet, or should I have a combat fleet? I feel like mining fleet would take a lot of work. Oh, there we go. They needed basic medicine. Uh, and we can turn it in. That's that's quite excellent. What's up, Mustafa? Um, yes. You, well, you don't... Yes, you have to equip them. So you, they come with basic white gear, but all this stuff I have for my ship right here, like all this blue stuff, all this stuff takes money. And so, yeah, you, it's a big, big investment. Uh, definitely. Um, let me see. And Proxim Mining, we are almost... We're two-thirds out of the, uh, the way to honored so we have a little bit of time to think about it oh what levels are these hmm level 10 we need a better warp drive too so we can warp all the way over there oh i hear combat somewhere oh red skulls I have to be careful, I could have easily destroyed that merchant. Yes, Mustafa, you can automate mining. Uh, basically, you have to be part of your fleet and you set them to mining mode, but you have to be in the area. It's not like they go off by themselves. Like, you have to fly to the mining field and then they'll start doing the mining. Which is pretty darn good, honestly. Oh, here we go. We can get an improved heat sink. Better nuclear reactor or a better scanner. You know what? I want those upgraded nuclear reactors. I don't want to have to use any weak ones if I can avoid it. Regional delivery. And my, my, uh, they don't really have traders, unfortunately. Oh, that's a big-ass cruiser. 300,000, though. Oof. Now, we could also just say F it and start saving up for this frigate. Which has four crew, four passengers. Holy moly. Um, look at that. Five weapon hardpoints? Wow. Eighteen weapons. That that's that's a beastie boy. Correct, beastie, yeah. And again, that could be a lot of fun. I just don't know if it would be more profitable than just going and, you know, getting into space wars. Cause you know, war is money too. But there are asteroid fields, a lot of them, and you can get some really good stuff. Again, it just it's going to dictate how, how I have to level. That's the biggest thing. Because, again, for mining, you're going to want to get go down here. Better chance of finding special metals. You can sell stuff for better prices, more cargo space. You can, you can basically have a chance to get two crystals instead of one. I mean, that stuff really... Well, where did the guy go? Did he leave? The fricker left. Okay, alright. Well, fine then. You know, like, here's a 
And you can check, like, you go here and, like, let's say... Where are we? We are... Are we right here? Um, it'll say mineral, very poor. Mineral, medium. Mineral, rich. So this pirate sector, of course it's a pirate sector. We could go there and just mine a bunch. But again, you gotta protect them because that's where, uh... Local delivery. There we go. And again, this is for the mining people, mining reputation. So yet again, you have that situation. Just gonna check out this debris field. All right, I swear this is the last one, last delivery. Oh, there we go. That's what I say. I wanted to unlock this for you guys. I knew I was waiting for something because I wanted to put more guns on the ship. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you how now that we got the capstone. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this. Man, I'm forgetting all this stuff to show you guys. So there's hybrid. So if you get 10 combat and 10 exploration, you get pro uh, probing. Reveals hostile stations and bases in the sector. But let's say we want, let's see, combat and social, 5% crew efficiency, and fleet troop gains 5% crew efficiency. So, that's for that combo. Uh, deep Sea Center, if we go exploration and uh, business, that's powerful. Reveal asteroid fields and sectors. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Items get plus one rarity level when crafted on friendly factions, up to purple. Oof. Advanced cooling, engineering. Co so, oh man, there's some dis big decisions to make. All right, let's go equip those guns. Um, it's really high. I mean, it's le at least sixty or something. Uh, because if you look at the bonuses for the per uh for the knowledge. It goes all the way to 60, it looks like. So I think 60 is the level. So check this out. Because we got that perk, we can get three more guns equipped. Oh yeah. Um, and I think we got some. Yeah, we got another Rapid Vulcan. But they have to be on the sides, it looks like. Okay. So I'm not going to equip, let's see, I kind of want to do, I guess we'll do burst lasers. What do we have right now? We have two burst lasers. Okay, we'll do a, oops, uh, what am I doing? PDS and two burst. PDS and two burst. Okay. Can I craft any upgrade kits? I cannot. Ooh. I might be able to buy those though. I can. And then I, I can still have two more guns. Now, I don't know why it's yellow, what that means. Now, we're going to want, I think, maybe two light cannons. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's, let's equip. Because we don't want to overheat our systems, right? Right. And that means we need some light cannon ammo. And this is going to be hilarious. All right, we got... Man, we are in business. Oh, I didn't even realize I had an extra uh, Rapid Vulcan. But we're trying to keep it even, I think, yeah. So let's see. Rapid Vulcan Medium, Rapid Vulcan Medium, 
PDS burst burst light cannon. PDS burst burst light cannon. Oh yeah. You guys wanna see me go full oh who's that? Well, I'll have to get that. Alright, check it. Are you ready for this? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we gotta go kill something. And, and then I swear we're stopping. Um, so if you think about it, there's 15 points to get to each cap. So 15, 30, 45, 60, you can't. And I haven't even gotten everything. So if I want the armor, so each one of these does what? 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23 points in this. So yeah, you can basically fill out two completely. It looks like, and, and or you can spread out a little bit. So you cannot get everything as far as I know. Now it's also possible that you can go higher than 60 and you just don't get the extra perks, but again, I haven't tested it. It makes sense that you wouldn't want to be able to get everything because, you know, you're supposed to have builds, right? Well, I would think anyway. Alright, get Notorious Pilots. Local delivery. No, no, no. We don't want to just go back and forth, back and forth. Alright. All right, let's see if we can go kill something. Eliminate Notorious Pirates. We're gonna go right here. With six energy? Do I have enough for that? Oh yeah, uh, let's buy a couple extra just in case. Big jump, big boy jump. Oh, this is, oh shit. This is the asteroid mess too. Wait, improved kit detected? Oh, nice! Yes! All right, hold on, hold on, we gotta upgrade this. Uh, what to upgrade, what to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Our can't make the decision. Yeah, right, we'll have to save it. I may want to save it for the Vulcans. I am ready to unleash all my firepower on this biatch. Bring it. <laughs> oh! Now nah, that is a lot of damage. I like how my sensor picked up the improved upgrade kit detected. Yeah, I need stuff, I need better detections. And that's where the exploration is nice. What do we get for combat and exploration? I like the hostile basis. Ah, it's so good. Oh, distress signal. We love distress signals. Free people. And or things to kill. Aw, or nothing. Oh, well, debris field, that's not nothing. And again, debris fields, man, they're all so tantalizing. <laughs> yeah, it's a reverse trap. We trap them in reverse. Where did my pirates go? Oh, they ran away! Bitches! Can you believe that? Oh man, my poor space pirate. I want to kill something. Wait, did we say this is a... This is just asteroid rush. What do we got here? Junk? We don't care about junk. I want to kill at least one more cool thing before I log off. And that's how we are at almost three hours on this stream. Holy crap, holy. Oh yeah, daddy needs to get some sleep. That's for sure. Uh, 
This game is too fun. Ooh, Anna Jackson got technician. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! Let's take a look at it real quick. Ooh, bonus fleet command. That's nice. All right, we're just gonna let's go. Six more energy. Man, these are expensive teleportations. Oh, was that just that? Oh, just a turn. I thought we had to kill somebody. You're killing me, Smalls. I want to kill somebody. And we can always go to that pirate sector that kicked their ass. Yeah, there's the Red School sector. You know, I work graveyard from midnight till 6 a.m. I worked all night. I haven't slept yet. <laughs> this is my uh, nighttime right now. But yeah, 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 I know. Sleep, who needs sleep? I should have gone to the gym, but stream this instead. All right, let's see. I could buy, you know what? Maybe we'll pick up, ooh, large nuclear reactor. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That was, that was, that was unexpected. Uh, ooh, ooh. I really, I like the Vulcans a lot. 42 generation a second? Wow. It takes six space though. So three times this. But it's still worth it. Because you're using more than four times the energy. Oh, I have plus 37. Oh god, I got so much extra energy now. It's a little overkill. Plus 25 is plenty. Uh. I think I want to get rid of one of these light cannons and put on a Vulcan. Yes. Yeah. And I can upgrade one of these to... Ooh! I can make this a blue. Or do I want a shield generator to be a blue? Oh, no, no, we want a blue warp drive. That's what we want, I'm thinking. Nice, five parsecs now. That is good, we can... So that's important because now we can, uh... We can, um... What it's called, uh, we can jump fast further. Which is good, because sometimes you're just right out of range, and there's nothing more frustrating than that. Alright. Cargo expansion, MK Drive 2. No, we have the heavy. There's nothing else good here. Too much good stuff, guys. Too much good stuff. Um, basic components, wrap metal, all right, I think this is probably, oh nice, yeah, I don't, I don't get these off, I'm working seven days a week right now to try and make things, make ends meet. So that's kind of exhausting. All right, so I think that'll be pretty good for now. I'll have to strategize and see what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, if people like this and comment and stuff like that, maybe I'll do this. I'll stream this again because this was pretty fun. Just gotta decide what kind of build I'm gonna go. Either way, I'm gonna keep playing this, but it might be fun to keep streaming. Uh, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks, Beastie. It was really nice seeing you. One of these days, I gotta get back on uh, Star Citizen. Maybe when I can get a new graphic card, uh, 
so it doesn't chug quite as much on the high settings. That'd be that'd be nice. Yes, I will, my man. I'll talk to you later. Real nice seeing you.